Welcome to Pre-Math. In this tutorial, we are going to find the area of this given right triangle ABC whose one of the angles is 15 degrees and its hypotenuse is given as 4 units. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first method I'm going to share with you. We are going to think outside the box when we are doing this method. And in the very first step, let's go ahead and draw an identical virtual triangle on this side that is going to be a reflection of this triangle ABC. So let me just put a point D over here. And here's our much nicer looking diagram as you can see. And this looks exactly like this one on the other side. Now let's focus just on this bigger triangle DAB. This angle A is going to become simply 15 plus 15 is going to be 30 degrees. Just keep in your mind. And now let's go ahead and find the area of this big triangle DAB now. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula that we'll be using in this case. So the area of a triangle equals to a half times A times B times sine of theta. And in our case, I'm going to call this side A, this side B, and the angle between these two sides is 30 degrees. I'm going to call angle is theta equals to 30 degrees. So now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area is going to be equal to a half times in our case A is 4 and B is 4 as well. 4 times 4 sine of theta in our case is 30 degrees and we know that the sine of 30 degrees is simply 1 over 2 so this whole thing is going to become 1 over 2 4 times 4 is 16 times 1 over 2 so if we simplify everything this turns out to be four square units. The area of this bigger triangle DAB turns out to be four. However, we are only interested in the area of this triangle ABC. We know that the area of this triangle ABC is just the half of this area of this whole triangle DAB. So therefore, let's go ahead and calculate that one. So area of triangle ABC is going to be a half time the area of DAB is 4 times 4. That is going to give us simply 2 square units. So thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be a 2 square units. And here's our second method and we will be using trigonometric ratios to find the area of this triangle ABC. And here's our SOCA TOA chart that we will be using. And as you can see SOCA TOA stands for sine, cosine and tangent. And in our case sine is opposite over hypotenuse. If this angle 15 degrees is if I call this one angle theta then the opposite side of this angle is going to be this BC and the adjacent side is going to be this one AC and this AB is going to be our hypotenuse. So our sine theta is going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse and cosine theta is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. Now in this step, let's go ahead and calculate the opposite side BC and we will be using this ratio sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse and let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Sine of theta in our case is 15 degrees and opposite side we don't know, just leave it there and hypotenuse in our case is 4 and we know that the sine of 15 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.259 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so that's going to be 0 0.259 
equal to opposite side over 4 let's solve for the opposite side I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 this 4 and 4 cancels out so our opposite side is going to be approximately equal to 1.0 three six so that's our side BC turns out to be 1.036 now in this next step we are going to calculate this side AC which is our adjacent and we will be using this uh, trig ratio cosine theta equal to adjacent over hypotenuse now let's go ahead in and fill in the blanks so cosine of theta in our case is 15 degrees once again and we don't know the adjacent side which is unknown and hypotenuse in our case is 4 and cosine of 15 degrees is approximately equal to 0 0.966 so this is going to become 0 0.966 equal to adjacent divided by 4 and now let's go ahead and multiply both side by 4 we want to isolate this adjacent part so I'm going to multiply both side by 4 over here so this 4 and 4 is gone so our adjacent part turns out to be approximately equal to 3.864 so thus our adjacent part AC turns out to be approximately equal to 3.864 and here's our final step let's calculate the area of this triangle ABC and once again we will be using this area of this triangle formula a half times AB sine theta and here I have too many options to pick A and B and let me go ahead and pick this side and A and this side B and the angle between them is going to be this angle theta which is 90 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks pretty quick 1 over 2 times a in our case is 1.036 b in our case is 3.864 times sine of 90 degrees and we know that the sine of 90 degrees is 1 so after doing all these calculations of the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be two square units and here's our third method once we have figured out our base and height as we did in our previous step we can use this method and here's the area of a triangle formula a half time base time height where our base is 1.036 and our height is 3.864 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks 1 over 2 times base is 1.036 time height is 3.864 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us our area equals to 2 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.